All right, welcome everybody. Today we are going to talk about resistance. This morning I woke up and I didn't feel like making a video. And the reason was I woke up and I saw that yesterday's video had gotten zero views. And this depressed me a little bit. It made me doubt about myself. It made me doubt about my project. How come that I am here and making a video instead of sleeping on my couch? Let's look at this. My name is Nick Ragmark. I'm a professional coach and an engineer. And I combine these two skills by taking the engineering approach to personal development, which means I go deep and analyze personal development problems and try to find tools and solutions and then bring them to you daily. How do we overcome resistance? There is a simple trick and it is make it all about resistance. A reason why we might fall prey to the temptation not to do what we should do is that life is too complex and we start making excuses. Maybe this is not the right thing that we should be doing. But if you simplify your life so that there are no excuses available, then you know that everything that comes to mind is going to be resistance. So you know what the enemy is when it presents itself. Now the question is, how do you do that? If we talk about my online channel, for example, it has not always been like this. I started more than a year ago with this channel and uh, I've tried many, many, many different approaches since. Making very nice videos that took me weeks to prepare and then doing live streamings and all, all sorts of things. And I think I finally, finally found a balance, which is to make one video every day. And there is magic in that. It simplifies life down to just doing the thing. You just have to wake up and do the thing. And it makes your life independent from outcome. It's really just about you doing the thing. And when it's done, it's done. You can move on. For example, why are so many motivation channels on YouTube related to working out. When you see a motivational video, it's usually some kind of pumped person who, who just uh, goes to the gym every day. Because sports are so simple. It's about showing up. It's about doing the thing, even though you don't feel like it, even though it feels maybe even painful. Um, so sports have it built in themselves, the, this simplicity that you just have to show up and do the thing. Life is more complex than that especially creative endeavors or entrepreneurial things. And so that's why it took me uh, over a year to kind of boil it down to what is the simplest way I can produce content for this channel. The magic of daily is that in a creative endeavor, it allows you to learn quickly. So there is this idea of a tight feedback loop. So if you're doing something and you see what you're doing as you do it, that's the fastest way you're going to learn. If I speak, and at the same time, my audience gives me feedback about what I'm saying, you know, like I could, that would be the fastest way I could become a better speaker. Given that this is not available, the fastest way I can learn is to produce videos on a daily basis and, and see whether people are interested, how do they react and so on. And so this is how I personally, my situation managed to simplify all this complex situation of online marketing down to one variable, which is showing up daily, making a video, overcoming perfectionism, overcoming resistance. So that's why right now my life is simply about when I wake up, just doing the thing, regardless of all the doubts. There are other aspects of going daily with whatever you want to do. For example, the, the idea of opportunity. Think, for example, about Cody Warner. So this, this guy, if you don't know, uh, he, his channel exploded last year. At the beginning of last year, he committed to doing daily vlogs and he just did that. I think he never skipped a day. And the interesting thing is that probably his channel grew on a steady basis. That's okay. But then there were like a few videos that made it explode, where that led to collaboration with Peter McKinnon and, and, and then the opportunity arise. But the thing is this, he wouldn't have known which video to make in advance. So that's another reason why doing things on a regular basis um, is an advantage because in today's chaotic world, you really need to explore and do many things and see what sticks. If you're interested in overcoming resistance and going deeper in it, then read this book, The War of Art. This is all about resistance. But it's also simply because this person 
has boiled down the complexity of being an author to this one thing. He has to get up daily and write. And, and whether it's good writing or crappy writing, doesn't matter. Like the smartness about this is not, about, is not the fact that he overcomes resistance, is that he simplified his life so that overcoming resistance is all that counts. So that's, that's the trick. If you happen to have too much complexity in your life, then obviously resistance is going to sneak in it uh, through doubts. But if you manage to kind of simplify everything to just one task that you have to do daily, no excuses, then it will be obvious to you. So if you commit to, I work out five days a week for the rest of my life, there is no choice, then obviously if the morning you don't feel like it, and you start thinking up excuses, you will know that they are excuses. Another last quote from James Clear. He says, I've never regretted showing up and working on something that was important to me. This, I think, is the quote that today motivated me to get going.